What is up everybody, it's Lace em Up, back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing the Addy Zero Prime Boost. Wait, where? Where's Jesse? <laughs> Jesse? So you guys might be wondering where Jesse is because it's only Nate and Nate today. Um, Jesse's on a trip, he's getting our friend uh, from Chicago, they're driving back, uh, so he'll be gone for maybe just this video. We'll have an another video and he'll be in it, so don't worry guys, you guys will get your healthy doses of Jesse next week. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna get right into the review. So this shoe, we went to the outlet down at Citadel and we were just like walking around, not really trying to cop anything because our bank accounts are pretty low from buying all these shoes. Um, so we were just walking around and they were like filming. I don't know what you guys are looking at. And then I just like looked down, I saw some like shiny stuff. So I was like, oh, shiny. And I went, I grabbed it and I was like, oh, these are pretty cool. Oh, they're my size. And I was like, oh, like, let me go ask the guy how much they are because there was like a sale. And he's like, oh yeah, they're like 50 bucks. And I was like, oh yeah, I might get them. And then he's like, yeah, but it's 50% off of that. And I was like, $25 for these, which retailed at like 200 something, like that's insane. So I copped them. I got them for 30 bucks all together. I also got like a black shirt. Uh, overall, it was a good day. You guys might've seen it in our vlog. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get right into the review. So the upper of the shoe, it's made out of uh, your prime knit material with, and on the shoe there's uh, those hits of 3M right on the toe box, the sides, and the three stripes, that's all 3M. Where there is not 3M, it's a harder prime knit. It seems like uh, you can really feel that the glue that they molded it, the shoe out of. So uh, on the back of the shoe right here, you have your heel counter. It's not like an ultra boost heel counter. It has a, it's more of what Nate was saying, like a skeleton of a heel counter, but it gives you that little support in the back. All right, so for this one, it's gonna be a normal boost midsole. It's a little bit less than what, you, what you'd what you see on like an NMD or like an ultra boost. Um, there's definitely uh, less boost, but there's also this weird um, kind of like, not even plastic, maybe like a nylon fiber. It's like running, it's like a band running across the top. I don't know what that's for. It's probably for stability. Still has the torsion plate, just like an ultra boost would. But the different, the main difference is um, the continental bottom is a little bit more like tirey, I guess, rather than just like the little circles that are on the bottom of an ultra boost. It literally looks like a tire was on like the bottom of it. The torsion system is a lot bigger than it is on the uh, ultra boost. All right, so the level of comfort on the shoe, I'd have to give it around an eight to an eight and a half, probably more eight and a half. Uh, they're a little bit, I feel like they're a little bit more comfortable than the NMDs, right? Just a little bit. I don't know what it is. There's just a little bit. I think it might be the insole, to be honest. If you guys look closely, like, there's not, like, a crazy amount of boost like there is on, like, the Ultra Boost or, like, the new NMD R2. It's just this small amount of boost here, but they're a really comfortable shoe. So for me, I'm gonna have to give it about, like, a seven and a half, maybe? Just seven. because, yeah, just because I'm used to wearing, like, Ultra Boost all day. I definitely think it's more comfortable than an NMD, but I think that there could be a lot more improvements because I do like the NMD um, PK a lot more than this. You see that this is not as stretchy, a little bit more stiff. So I have to give it around a seven and a half. I still think it's very comfortable. I still like the boost material on this. I can still feel it. So Nate gave it about an eight and a half. I gave it a seven and a half. So together we're gonna give it an eight. So now we're gonna get into the durability issue. I think it's gonna be a little bit more durable than an NMD or yeah, more durable than an Ultra Boost just because it's like a lot more stiff up top. And this, um, the tire material on the bottom is gonna be a lot more um, resistant to breaking down rather than like a NMD one that breaks down all the time that I've seen. And even Ultra Boosts have started to break down of mine, but I think this is gonna hold up for a lot longer. So I'm gonna give it about like a seven on durability. I think they can make a lot more improvements. Maybe throw some ATR material on there. As for me, I'll probably give this around a six, probably a six. Yeah, because uh, they definitely can make a lot of improvements. These are going to be definitely more durable than M NMD because uh, you have your continental sole here. And I like how they included a torsion system too. They don't have that on an M NMD. So can you feel the torsion system when you're walking? Yeah, I can definitely feel it. That's something I missed from the NMDs. I also think that this torsion plate right here is going to be more durable than say, the Ultra Boost one because it's just, it's, just a little <laughs> it's, a little, piece, so. it's like a little bar. It's hilarious compared to this like whole it covers like, the yeah. whole. It's kind of like spider webbing. It's like spread out. So it's going to give a lot more stability. So he gave it a six and a half. I gave it, no, you gave it a six. I gave it a seven. So all together we're going to give it a six and a half, which is pretty good for an Adidas shoe because um, 
We've given them like threes and fours the last couple of times. Yeah. So this is definitely a step up in durability, but I think they can make a lot more improvements on comfortability and maybe aesthetically. So now we're gonna get into the price point and the availability of these shoes. So these shoes are gonna be an LTD, which are considered limited for the um, Adidas, if you guys didn't know that, on any box where it's gonna be a limited shoe, it'll say LTD. The availability on it is gonna be probably a little bit more available than say an Ultra Boost just because it's not as sought after and people don't um, want it as much as they do the Ultra Boost or NMDs. Another reason why I think people aren't really trying to go after them is because they retail at $200, which is more than the NMD and Ultra Boost. Yeah. And to me, it's not as nice of a silhouette, but for me, getting it for $30 <laughs> was really like life-changing. Cause if it wasn't, Deal. yeah, if I didn't see it at the, um, no. at the outlet i don't think i would ever like have thought like hey i want those shoes i'm gonna go out and buy them all right so we are going to get into if this is worth the cop nathan do you think it's worth the cop for 30 dollars yes definitely worth the cop <laughs> but for me if i get it for retail 200 dollars, not really worth the cop with that money you can literally just get an ultra boost for that but if i were to get these for 30 dollars too i'd buy them all right, so some of the improvements that they can make to the shoe is not even just change the shoe, it's just to lower the price. I think $200 is way too much for these shoes. Like, uh, you can get Ultra Boost for those, and it'll be way better performance-wise. But if they were to lower these to like 120, 140 range, I think these would appeal to more people. Yeah, I definitely think that the 120 um, price point would be a lot more acceptable than the $200 point, just because, like, for a while at Adidas, these were sitting. So I don't really see the point in them um, making it $200 again. I think if they do it right, they do the 200 price, they do the 120 price point, it'll be a lot more beneficial for them. And I think that a lot more people will be open to buying these shoes. So we are going to get into our final thoughts on the shoe. I think it's a really nice shoe. I love how they incorporated the 3M into this. Literally, this whole shoe is pretty much 3M. You have it all around the toe box, all around the sides, and all on the back too. And yeah, I think it's just a really nice shoe, especially for $30. Good cop if you can get it for that price. My final thoughts on the shoe is it's definitely a beautiful shoe. <laughs> and uh, overall, I think it's a nice shoe. It's just, it's very durable. And I think I can wear it for a while without having to like, worry about it getting dirty um just the materials on it are very rigid and it's it's gonna hold up for a while so i i think that it'll be in the rotation for quite some time and um overall it's just a nice shoe thanks for watching our review on the addy zero prime boost ltd reflective knit remember to like and subscribe and if you have any more questions about this shoe, just leave it in the comment section down below. Shout out to Jesse, and remember to lace them up. Jesse, come home. <laughs> come home.